Hello everyone, IceCoolTech here. Now we're gonna be taking a look to see how the iPhone 7 has handled the public release of iOS 14. Now before we get into the video, as always, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to that subscribe button with notifications enabled to stay up to date with more content just like this. Anyways, let's get straight into the video iOS 14 just released to the general public, bringing many new features and changes such as home screen widgets, an all new app library, app clips, and so much more. The iPhone 7 had a rough time throughout iOS 13, so let's see how it handles this latest release from Apple. The iPhone 7 has performed pretty well on iOS 14 in my experience. I have not had any noticeable slowdowns, meaning apps launch pretty fast, games run super smoothly, and websites load up quickly. Now animations on the iPhone 7 while running iOS 14 have been okay for the most part. All system animations are incredibly fluid with the only issue being a few seconds of stuttering after unlocking the iPhone. Now this is really frustrating as it's more frequent than not. I hope to see a fix for this stuttering issue very soon. Let me know in the comments if you're having the same issue. Now RAM management has been pretty decent as well. I haven't experienced too many reloads and when I do they aren't too frequent. These reloads usually happen when I have a ton of apps open in the background and it's usually the heavier apps that have the reloads. Now other than that, RAM management is pretty solid when you take in the fact that this iPhone only has 2GB of RAM when compared to 3 or 4GB of RAM on newer iPhones. Now before I talk about battery life, I want to take a second to mention that my iPhone 7 is running off of a maximum battery capacity of 91% and has not had a restart. This means that my iPhone is not being throttled. Now battery life while running iOS 14 on the iPhone 7 has actually been shockingly good. I haven't noticed any major drain while actively using the device, although we are not drain free just yet. I found that I can pull off a full day of light use, but nothing more. And this makes sense as the iPhone is still indexing or performing many background activities as it was just updated recently. Now, standby time has been especially bad. I've noticed that the iPhone will die very quickly while on standby time. I'm not entirely sure as to why this is happening now, but it is an issue and I hope to see a fix soon. So let me know how battery life has been for you in the comments below. Of course, here is a quick update on the overheating situation. Now, overheating has not been fixed in iOS 14 at all. There is still significant overheating when performing basic tasks and naturally, it gets worse as you work the phone more. Now, this has been an ongoing issue that really needs to be fixed. Now, of course, for the main question, should you update? Well, the answer is actually yes. If you're on an earlier version of iOS 13 or the iOS 14 beta, then I definitely recommend updating to the full release of iOS 14. Now, if you're on iOS 12 or earlier, I'd say updating this version is just fine if you're okay with overheating and slight battery drain issues. Despite still having unlocked stuttering, horrible standby time and overheating issues, iOS 14 is a very stable release unlike when iOS 13 released just a year ago. I cannot wait to see what future iOS 14 releases have in store. Now, of course, I will have a full review of iOS 14 on the iPhone SE first generation coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. All right, everyone, that is all I have for this video. Now, if you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. If you are new to the channel, definitely make sure that subscribe button. Every subscriber truly does mean a lot. It's very appreciated. Now, of course, make sure to follow me on Twitter and check out the iSchool Tech Discord. Links for both are in the description down below as always. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.